Well, hey there, y'all. Welcome on back to the Mountain Man. Today, of course, I have the Tim Hortons Tim Bits bucket for this year's Halloween 2023. And hoorah, because it looks pretty darn cool, I must say. Now, I'm not as good as last year's for sure, but the thing is with this one is that it actually glows in the dark. So that's pretty darn cool. I didn't expect them to make one that glows in the dark. And I'm just glad that they changed it, even though it's not as nice as last year's, which is down here. Let me get it. I did review it too last year. And we only had a couple Timbits inside because I ate most of them before I reviewed it. This time we got all 31 of them, so hoorah. And it looks pretty darn cool next to this one. I must say, I think I like this one better. But the thing is, this one glows in the dark. And I tested it out in the dark closet, and it does work. It glows really nicely green. So I'll show you all later. Uh, I don't know if I'll just wait and film the last part tonight, or I'll just uh, go in the shed. That's probably what I'll do because I don't want to wait until nighttime to put this video up for you all. It's October 2nd today when I just picked this up. The weird thing is, I went this morning to Tim Burton's uh, at Rob's place, you know, over there, over yonder. And this lady there told us that they do have it. <laughs> it sounded like ukulele linen from the from the Shawn Mendes queer commercial. But she told us that they do have it, but they're not allowed to sell it to us until October 4th. So that's the official day, I guess, to drop these bad boys. Along with a new jack-o'-lantern color-changing mug, which I wanted to get. But that's okay. We didn't bother getting it today. Uh, just kind of gapped it when we went inside to get to get this bucket. We just kind of forgot and we only ended up getting the bucket instead of the mug. But oh well, I'll review it eventually whenever we can find it. By God, from old Tim Burton's, of course. But yeah, I like the design on this old big old bucket of Timbits. <laughs> it's like, I like the lid. It's cool how you can see through and everything and see all the old queer Timbits in there. Uh, I don't really like the white as much, but I think that it has to be white for it to uh, be able to glow. I definitely prefer the design last year better. Which I believe was just carried over from the one before, 2021. But yeah, this is obviously the 2023 one. Got some bats. Some of the bats are timbits, not all though. So it's not really as like timbitified, you know? Like usually there's tons of timbits everywhere. Not really now. And now it just says timbits bucket. Whereas before it said timbits trick or treat bucket. So I don't really know why they dropped the trick or treat. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to me. And it still says Tim Hortons, but it's not in red. So it's like... I don't know, it's not really as prominent now. It's just kind of off to the side in, in a cloud over there. Still got the moon, I guess. This one didn't really have too many bats. Actually, no, I didn't have one bat, one chocolate Timbit bat. But it just had a lot more Timbits. I mean, just look at all those Timbits down there. The birthday cake one, the old powder one, a couple of powder ones. Yeah, lots of powder ones on here because <laughs> everything's white. A mummy, a ghost. <laughs> uh, what's that supposed to be? Oh, a Dracula, a Frankenstein, kitty cat. Well, now... All we have is a couple of bats. So I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not as good as last year's. And then, oh, a witch there too, I guess. More bats on this side. Sue Timbits. That is French, of course. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not liking it as much as last year. But this copy right into 2023 for y'all to tell. Whirly. Huh. Anyways, let's get into the taste test part of this video. I do like the, the top part better, I must say. I like how you can see through. And how it's orange now instead of... Before, it was just black, as y'all can tell. Timbits. Hurrah. Anyways, they don't have the best Timbits flavor. Ironically, I just reviewed all seven of the Timbits. Well, five of them, because I they didn't have all seven at Rob's. <laughs> didn't even have powder. But this is actually the one I was talking about that I gave the first place spot to as the best Timbit ever. Which, really, it's not all that great. <laughs> but it's good for Timbits, you know what I mean? This is the powdered Timbit, or I guess it's called Raspberry Filled, I think it's properly called. But, I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of powder on it. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's as dry as hell. Ah, I'll give it a shot. Tiny little squirt of raspberry in there. Maybe strawberry. I don't know. You can't really tell. Eh. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad they included a lot of them because it is still my favorite kind. But, I'm not saying that much because it's not really that great. There's the chocolate glaze. Yeah. They're all right. I forget what I even rated these things. Oh, well, no need to do a rating today. Y'all want to check out my complete in-depth ranking, ranking of all these Tim Bits? Well, check out that latest video I did. Another Tim Hortons taste test video. Chocolate. I mean, it's all right. Wow. Uh, yeah, pretty good. What other Tim Bits did they give us? I don't really want to try them all. Because some of them I don't even like. Sour cream. 
glaze or whatever it's called. I don't really like that kind. I'd rather just eat the powder ones and leave the rest for everyone else. I don't think anyone else really likes the other kinds either. Wow, they did not give us much variety in these timbits. I couldn't even see any of the other kinds in there. I got it. Here, you know what I'm gonna do? Just so y'all can see the inside and so we can see what other kind of timbits are in there. I'm gonna put them, dump them into this one. <laughs> That'll work out well. Wow, it's still dirty. I didn't realize that. I never cleaned it, so it should be not dirty, but, you know, messy, I guess. Dump them in here. Now, I do want to tell y'all how much it retails for. There we go. Whoa, that was smooth. <laughs> wow, they only gave us three flavors. Are you kidding me? Yep. Look at that. Wow. Pretty disappointing there, Tim Burton's on Malden Road. Three flavors of Timbits. At least they gave us, well, two out of three of the good kinds, I guess. They all kind of suck, though, as I said in the title of my ranking of all these Timbits. Anyways, I do want to tell you all how much it cost. It's ten ninety five, I think, for the Timbits bucket and the Timbits. 31 of them. You get 31, by the way. Um, and it's only four ninety five for just a bucket. So I don't really know why anyone would just get the bucket. I mean... <laughs> If you just want to, if you're maybe a little kid, trick-or-treating, I guess, it would make sense. But, I mean, wouldn't you want the Timbits, too? Like, I don't see how that anyone would just buy the bucket. But I guess, I mean, some people might only want the bucket for whatever reason. I don't really know. <laughs> but I think any little kid that wants this bucket, probably going to want the Timbits inside. But, yeah, I would recommend just getting the 1095 for both. Because it's actually a pretty good deal for the Timbits. When you factor in <laughs> this, <laughs> I mean, this isn't really worth anything. But it's just kind of cool. I like to get them. Uh, I don't know, get the Timbits inside mostly, and just, you know, put them around the mountain, man, and review them for y'all, but I do want to get that mug soon, so let's dump these ones back in here now, why not, y'all can see in there, not much going on in there, just your typical Tim Burton's, uh oh, I want to spill them now, Tim Burton's bucket, oh, Timbits, <laughs> yeah, I, I could not believe that I didn't clean that out last year, wow, <laughs> that man's a little lazy, I guess, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to have another powder one, because why not? Oh, some of these powder ones, they just don't look right. I mean, what is that? <laughs> Busted open to all hell. Barely any powder on it. Like, come on, Tim Burton's. Oh. Pretty good, though. I mean, it's a classic. Always used to be my favorite kind. Went down to the Apple Fest the other day in Ruthven, and I had some really good donuts from Kalasani, so y'all will see that in the uh, Call of Sunny's Apple Fest video, if y'all want to go check that out. Other than that, though, another year of reviewing Timbit's Halloween Bucket. I would say, well, we got to rank the bucket itself. I guess overall, for the whole experience this year, nah, I like it, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I don't really like the white as much. I am glad that it's different than this one, because I wouldn't have probably bought it if it was the exact same. And I wouldn't doubt if they don't change it next year. Only because I don't think they changed this one. I think this was just a carryover from 2021. But I don't even remember having them having them at all before 2022 when I got this one. So I don't really know. I probably would have bought it if I if I saw it all October long. Surprise. So I don't know. Anyways, it officially comes out on October 4th. But if you all go to your Tim Hortons right now, you'll probably be able to find this thing. And if you want this one, I don't know. Maybe it's got some value. I'll have to check on eBay. I'm not really sure. But I do like this one better. Um, and this one, yeah, 8 out of 10. It's pretty cool. It's not as timidified, though. You know, there's not very many timbits on it. It's a lot of basic Halloween clip art images, it feels like. But at least it glows in the dark. And yeah, I can't end the video. Yeah, what the hell? I forgot it glows in the dark. Let's go somewhere dark and check this out and see if it really glows. All right, y'all. It's time to go see if this damn bucket from old Tim Burton's actually glows in the dark. So I came to the darkest room in the house. There it is right there. Y'all keep your eye on it. Watch this. I'm going to turn off the lights. Oh, <gasps> by golly gee, it actually works. Look at that. Wow. Sorry, y'all. I can't get in here. It's so crammed in the crawl space. Oh, we got the <laughs> that queer ball moving around down there. But look at that. That's pretty darn cool. Fortunately, it's a bit too dark to be able to make up the words or anything. But that was pretty darn awesome, I must say. Glowing around there in the dark. Timbits bucket. I wish it said Timbits trick-or-treat bucket. 
Does it make the timbits glow inside? Nope, not really. They're as black as all hell. <laughs> well, it's cool though. Pretty fine purchase from old Tim Burton's. Solid 8 out of 10. I really like that it glows. And I think I got a big baby bear behind me, ready to pounce on me. Or she's drinking water over there. I don't know. Anyways, thank y'all for watching this Tim Horton's taste test. Kind of. It was more of a product test, but whatever. Anyways, <laughs> thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Right here on the Mountain Man. Hoorah! Gonna catch a monsters.